right, here we have a free plugin. This is EQ81 from IK Multimedia. Now this is absolutely free, just make sure you pick it up by January 31st and you will own it forever. All right, now this again is the EQ81 based on the famous, the legendary Neve 1081. Microphone preamp EQ, a very expensive piece of gear. So this being an EQ, I don't really need to go in depth because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how an EQ works. So let's just take a quick overview of this EQ and mic preamp. So your knobs here in the center will set your frequency that you are centered around. Okay, that's for all of your different bands here. And then the knobs up top will adjust the gain, either pull some out or dial some in. So if I wanted to focus around say 270 here, I can dial some out or pull some in, okay? The high Q button will change the width of the uh, the bandwidth or change the uh, change the Q and it makes it a bit more narrow. And that's the same for both of your middle bands here. Both of these are peaking filters. And then your bands on the outside are shelving filters, okay? And you can change those into bell shapes by clicking that button. You also have a mic preamp here, switch between line and mic. So if you really wanna drive the input, to get more saturation like you would the real hardware. You can uh, do that if you want and then compensate with your output right there. So just drive that really hard as an example. Compensating with our output. Then you also have your high pass and low pass filters right here. So your ring is going to be your high pass and then the blue knob is your uh, your low pass. So we're dialing out everything you know below uh, 270 there or dial out the top end and let the lows pass. Of course, do both. Turn things off here. Turn off the EQ there. Still use the uh, mic preamp. Invert the phase right there. You also have mid side controls. So we can select mid side and then we can adjust things in tandem as long as the equals is selected. Or you could uh, just say dial in just the side. So I'll click S, just choose some setting. So we're just affecting the side signal here. Okay, then go to the mid signal. So what's coming down the middle and uh, EQ that separately. All right, you can do the same thing with your left and right as well, if you, uh, if you want to. All right, so that is a quick overview of the EQ81, but real quick for those who don't know how to read one of those EQs, I'll pull up a graphic EQ and explain exactly what these bands are for those who are not aware. Okay, we'll start here with our low shelving filter. So if I was you know, centered around, focused around 100 Hertz, and then pulled this up about 3.5 dB, that would look like this here. So we'll have our low filter right there. Make sure it's a shelving filter. We'll pull this up to about 100 Hertz. That's about what we have here. Then we have this at about 3.5 dB. So that would look, you know, something like that there. Okay, so your shelving filters, as you can see, they look kind of like a shelf. All right, same thing for the top end as well. Your uh, top end shelving filter right there. Focus around 6.8. So change my frequency to around, you know, close enough, 6.8. Then adjust the gain up to 10 dB as an example, up to 10 dB, and then it looks like this right there. All right, and again, press this button right here to turn that into a bell shaped filter or a peaking filter. And that would look like that. And then of course your two center bands here are already peaking filters. So if I was focused around 470, let's say, we'll just focus this around 470 Hertz, close enough. Then we increase the gain 8.3 dB right here in the green. That's what that uh, would look like. Actually the Q on this is about 0.3. So it's a very wide band, okay? So that's what that would look like. And if you hit your high Q, that narrows your Q down to about one. Of course, it's dependent upon the uh, gain. But as you can see there, it's a bit of a narrower, narrower band. So let me turn on my high pass filter or our low cut. Same thing, different name. If I set the low cut or the high pass at uh, 270, and I set this at about 270, and that's what it looks like, the red there, okay? Cuts out the low end, and then same thing for the top end, just choose the uh, frequency, so say 8.2, same thing up here for your 
high cut or your low pass. Just set that up however you want. Okay, so that is a visual look at uh, how to use the EQ81. Now, if you want to pick this up for yourself, just head right over here. Of course, this link will be in the description below. Scroll down here, a $100 value. Again, make sure you pick it up by January 31st and you will own this forever. Make sure you install T-Rex 5CS, which is also free. So if you don't have it, go ahead and install that. Here in the video, I've been using this standalone, but this also runs within, uh, within T-Rex. All right, scroll down here. There's a video if you don't understand how to, uh, how to redeem this, but here's your instructions right there. Just make sure you have an IK account, which again is absolutely free. Log into your user area, redeem, and then just follow the on-screen instructions. All right, make sure you have the IK product manager, make sure you sign up for the newsletter, and you will get this absolutely for free. Again, I'll have that link in the description below and pick up the legendary EQ81 absolutely for free.